Hi, it's Chester Tupple at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the ABS or absolute function in Excel. Here's our scenario. We've got some test results here. And as you can see from the results, some of them are positive and some of them are negative. What we want to do is find the sum of these figures, but we want to treat the negative figures as if they were positive figures. Now, if I was just to sum up these values, I wouldn't quite get what I'm after. I get minus 65. What I could do is, in a separate column, work out what the absolute version of these numbers is. And I could do that using something called ABS, or the ABS function. See how this works. Very simple to use. Equals ABS. There we are. And all I need to do is point at a cell or specify a number and it will return the absolute version of that number which is the number without its sign and then what I could do is just add those up however that's the answer I want but really I want it there I don't want to really have a second column with another version of the numbers I want to do the whole thing in this cell here now that is possible let's just take that out now what I need to do is sum up the absolute version of this range. The absolute version of this range here. Now, let's just see if we can do that. So what I'm doing is I'm saying instead of summing up B2 to B13 as it is, convert it to its absolute version and then add it up. Press enter. Oh dear, I get a hash value error. So it's not working. That's because ABS is expecting to work on a single value rather than a range. Now what you can do to get around this is to convert this formula to an array formula. Now normally when we press, when we want to confirm a function, we press enter. But instead, if you press control shift enter, you create what's called an array formula. Now you can see the effect of that is put these brace brackets on either side of the formula. That tells me that I've created an array formula. So the trick was, just to go back, instead of pressing enter, I press control, shift, and enter. And that has added up the absolute versions of those numbers. I could do the same with average. So I'm selecting the results. Two close brackets, control, shift, enter. There you are, I've got the average. The minimum, now that's quite interesting. So if I say equals, sorry, the max. Same, same idea. Select the range. Two close brackets, control, shift, and enter. So it's returned 100, even though the 100 is actually the negative figure or the smallest figure. Uh, min, so I can do the same, it will work in exactly the same way. Control, shift, and enter, and it returns the 2. I've actually got a minus 2 and a 2 there. Uh, it's not so clear, but it definitely was clear with this 100. That was a negative figure. That should have been the smallest figure rather than the maximum. But because we returned the absolute value of it, it returned it as the largest figure. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Working with the absolute function, the ABS function. Thank you very much for listening.